Knock, knock. Come in. Hi, good morning, Mrs. Barker. My name is Brett. I will be your nurse practitioner today. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do you have a preferred name that you'd like me to call I'm you? Oh, Becky. Becky? Mm -hmm. Okay. And how do you identify yourself as gender? Female. Female? Mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. I'm going to do an exam of your head, your eyes, your ears, your nose, and your throat today. Okay. That's what we're going to do now. So I'm going to take a look at your head and I need to feel your hair. Okay. All right, your hair appears to be full, clean, scalp is clean, no flakes, doesn't look like there's any lesions, no pediculosis. Do you have any pain when I touch any part of your head? No. Just check here. This is your temporal artery. You feel any pain when I press that? No. So no arteritis. Your face looks symmetrical. You don't have any abnormal facial <coughs> Oh, pardon me. You. No problem. So you can smile for me. It works good. Mm -hmm. Alright, let me take a look at your neck. So I'm going to have you do some movements with your neck. Okay. So I'm looking at you now and I can see that your neck is midline. So the first thing I like to do is have you tuck your chin to your chest. Raise your head back up. Now tilt your head to your left shoulder and back. And then to the right shoulder and back. Did you have any pain when you did that? No. no. Let's do it again with saying no. Put your head to your shoulder, say no. No. And the other side, say no. No. So no pain. Great. I'm going to take a look at your lip loads with my fingertips. Okay. They have like video cameras in there, they can see things. <laughs> so we got occipital lip nodes are non-palpable. Post auricular, non-palpable, more of the temporal. Preoracle, submandibular, mandibular or mental, your clavicular and subclavicular seem to be non palpable either. Is there any pain at all when I did any of those movements? No. Great, thank you. I need to take a look at your thyroid gland at this time, so what I'm going to do is come behind you, and I'm going to put my hands on your throat, okay. I'm going to press to one side, and ask you to swallow, and if you feel anything, um, let me know, okay, and I'll okay. stop, and then I'll repeat it on the other side. I'm just going to put a little pressure, and I'm going to push your, your throat to the side, and I want you to swallow, okay? Okay. okay here we go. Swallow. Great. I'll do the other side. Swallow. Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a look at your eyes. Your eyes appear to be symmetrical. Even hair distribution on your eyebrows and on your eyelids. You can move your eyes, eyebrows symmetrically up and down. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. Put your eyes, close your eyes, your eyelids are together. So they do close evenly. That's excellent. You don't have any drooping of the upper eyelid. No. Okay, I see a little little fine line scar there. Did you have, have them work on something up there? I did. I had a blepharoplasty in January. Oh, okay. sure. Yeah, looks great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You did a good okay. job. Looks well healed. Your, palp your palpable, uh, your palpable fissure. I have a hard time saying that. Word. <laughs> your palpable fissure seems to be intact. So. When you open your eyes, that distance between both of your upper and lower eyelids up over here in the center is the same distance. So, so that's a good thing. Good. <laughs> so, I just have a hard time saying the word sometimes. I don't see any uh, redness or any lesions or anything. Um, your eyes are not protruding. They're not sunken. You don't look like you're uh, dehydrated or anything. So that's wonderful. I'm going to take a look at your conjunctiva now. So I'm just going to pull them down. Move your eyes left and right. Take a look here. So the scar is white, conjunctiva is pink, moist, there's no discharge. Doesn't look like 
Do you have any issues with your eyes? You don't have any styes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to examine your eyes with the light now. So we're going to do a couple of tests with the light. The first one's going to be uh, seeing how your eyes react to light and the light source. And I'm going to start with this side. Just look right at my nose. And the other side. Great, so they're equal and reactive to light. Now I'm going to take the light and bring it in and shine it in close to your nose. And then I'm going to pull it back so you're going to get a little cross-eyed. And we're going to make sure that both of those go together. Okay. okay. Here it comes. Just look at the light. Great. So your eyes are... <laughs> your pupils are equal around and reactive to light and accommodation. So that's a good thing. I didn't see any swelling or redness on your conjunctiva. No, I didn't see any cataracts when I was shining the light in your eyes, so that's great. Now I'm going to take a look at your ears. Can you turn your head to the left for me? No, sorry. Ears, my sorry. other left. <laughs> the other left works. I'm just looking for symmetry, make sure all the structures are there, the pin is intact. Any pressure when I press your tragus? No. no. We'll do the same on the other side. We'll examine the pina. Is intact, no pressure when I push on the tragus. No, nope. that's okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. All right, so what I'm going to do now is look inside those ears. Okay, I'll start with the right side and the external canal was clear when I entered. I see a pretty gray flat tympanic membranes with the cone of light present, and I can see the bony list in the back. No serum build, serum and build up. That's good. Other side. External auditory canal is intact. Again, tympanic membrane is flat, gray, cone of light visualized, and uh, autoliths are visually intact. That's great. So now I'm going to do a hearing test. Two of them. I'm going to do a Renee and a Weber hearing test. I explained the first one to you. I'm going to tap this tuning fork, place it on the top of your head, and I want you to tell me if you hear it more on one side or the other. Okay. okay. No. Sounds equal. Same on inside? Mm -hmm. Okay. The next test, I'm going to do with both ears. I'm going to tap it again. I'm going to place it behind your mastoid bone. Mm -hmm. And when you stop hearing it, tell me, and I'll move it to your side of your ear. Okay. Okay? Okay. Excellent. So bone conduction uh, is less than air conduction on both sides. So you hear your hearing is pretty good. So I'm looking at the skin on your face. You have even color, skin's intact. Your, your skin doesn't have any lesions or obvious deformities. No redness, no swelling. So let me take a look at your nose and your throat. Okay. All right. So look up in your nose first. Okay. Hair distribution is normal. Nerves appear patent. Other side. Nerves appear patent. Hair distribution normal. No blockages. No discharge. Can you press to one side of your nose and breathe in and out? Okay, now the other side. Great, that's excellent. Alright, I do need to palpate your sinuses and see how you're doing. Your frontal 
Can I use it? Do you have any pressure here? No. Do you feel any pressure or pain here? No. Great. Alright, take a look at your mouth. Say, ah. Ah. Ah, it's my. Look in the back here. Ah. Uh. Raise your tongue to the top of your mouth. Frenulum's intact. No obvious deformities. I don't see any abscesses. Obvious dental caries or any other problems. No cracks on your lips. Skin looks pink, moist, even in midline. And teeth are in generally good condition. Okay. Take another look at your tongue. Uh, did you have some candy earlier? Uh, I did. You did? I had licorice. <laughs> Uh, it looks like Oops. a little blue. Okay. <laughs> but the dorsal part of your tongue does have some papillae on it that I can see, so that's okay with whatever color they are. <laughs> um, so that's fine. You have enough uh, saliva in your mouth. I didn't see any drooling. It doesn't look like you're very high, high, dehydrated. But I do want to see if I can get you to open your mouth one time real wide so I can see your uvula, that little thing in the back of your throat. Move okay. for me, okay. Open up big. Say ah. Ah. Great. And I can also see your tonsils. And they're what I call a plus one. And that means they're normal. So they're not enlarged. Doesn't show any signs of tonsillitis. Good. <laughs> That's a good thing. All right. That concludes our exam. Do you have any questions for me today? Mm-mm. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Mrs. Barker. Thank you. Or Becky. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate thank it. Thank you, Brett. Uh, the MA will be in a couple of minutes and, and get you signed out and get you all the paperwork that you need. Awesome. Thank, thank you. you so much. You're welcome.